Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fit Again. I hope you guys are doing great and everybody is safe. So today we'll be looking at the Wildcraft Shutterbug Pro DSLR Cum Laptop Backpack. I was looking for a solid but somewhat affordable camera backpack from a very long time and I did a lot of research. I have the Sony A6600 through which I'm recording right now. I have a small but a decent lens lineup. I got the Moza Aircross 2 gimbal and I got the Digitech 520DH tripod and I had my eye on this camera backpack from a very long time and for my setup I just felt that you know this will be a perfect bag and I went ahead and bought it. I took all my accessories and the bag recently to a small trip. Uh, today I'll be briefing you about how ergonomic the bag is in its handling, how comfortable it is and what's the capacity on this and finally is it really worth investing your money let me show you around the compartments of the bag so you'll get a fair idea about its storage and its capacity so we'll start from this section so here in this particular compartment you do have enough space to probably fit in a drone right now i'm keeping my uh what do you call this uh yeah my camera cleaning kit so it holds it very well and i i can throw in maybe if i have a power bank or something of that sort i can easily throw that in here uh, I believe uh, you can easily store a DJI Mavic Mini 2 drone here. You see, this is basically how much the space is here. So yeah, and you got a zipper here. So if you have a memory card or cable uh, or anything of that sort, you can easily store in here. This is the mesh design and it's pretty solid also. And it has great padding as usual. Okay, now we'll move on to the main compartment where you basically store your camera and your lenses. Let me go ahead and unzip it. Awesome, there you go. This is how your camera compartment looks like. I uh, will start with the paddings. These pads are a solid half inch thick and you got this orange accent throughout inside the bag, which I think looks pretty cool with black uh, exterior and orange interior. Uh, at least for me, it looks amazing. And talking about these paddings, of course you can easily detach them and reattach however you want to. Uh, and if you don't want, you can remove this completely and keep like an empty box style and so yeah uh, if you have say ND filter or anything of that sort you can easily fit that in here of course I'm probably gonna have to readjust it uh, that you can do and if you have say a Sony 200 to 600 you can easily readjust these things or maybe remove a couple of them and fit in your 200 to 600 lens easily in here and I, I don't think you'll have any problem with say a Sigma 150 to 600 or a time around 150 to 500 or maybe a 2200 uh, Sony lens you can easily fit in uh, fit those things in here with the camera body no problem whatsoever and yeah that's about that that's all you get here you do have a zipper I don't know why they added a zipper here you basically see a hard padding here there is no cover or anything of that sort I, I don't really see a meaning to add a zipper here but hey they have added okay let's move on to the next compartment on the top, you basically have a couple of zippers here. One is this one. It's a small storage packet. Uh, maybe you can store, you know, keys, uh, something of that sort. Uh, but it's a very tiny storage. Uh, maybe a charging cable or something of that sort for your uh, smartphone. And you have another zipper here. If I open this here, you get a little bit uh, larger compartment. You can store in your power bank or your uh, smartphone charging brick, a camera charging brick if you have. Uh, so yeah, those are the things you can store and you have couple of mesh pockets here as you can see uh, I am basically okay I have a what do you call that hand sanitizer yeah something of that sort and a couple of on tablets <laughs> yeah so that's about this one uh, and yeah here you go you have another zipper here it's a smaller one maybe you can store in your uh, changes or something of that sort and you have a couple of uh, hard pockets plastic pockets basically uh, they are basically designed it to store here you go memory card so yeah, you can actually store that. I don't really recommend you guys to store memory card like directly like this. Uh, preferably buy a, buy a hard case to store your memory card. Yeah, and if you have uh, say a hard disk with a cover, you can throw it in here easily, no problems. Let me close this one. So let's move on. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, you can store in your tripod here. They have a little, uh, what do you call that? Mesh for storing water bottles right here. But I generally store my tripod here because I got this very sturdy clippers. So I put my tripod in and just lock them. You can just put in one or two legs in this mesh and then clip in your uh, tripod here. It'll be 
will be good to go basically uh, let's move on to the rear side yeah quite important you do have a zipper here let me open this one uh, one beautiful thing about this bag is it does come with a raincoat a protection to cover the bag from the rain so it's always good uh, you never know what situation you might be shooting in uh, it's always good to protect your gear uh, this entire bag itself feels like a waterproof bag but anyways they already included so that's a great bonus and it's stored in this particular rear pocket let me throw this back in let's move on uh, okay i'll just talk about a little bit of padding on this uh, the rear side of this bag has a very breathable fabric obviously for your uh, bag it, uh, it can absorb a lot of sweat for sure because when it is tightly coupled with your bag uh, generally we tend to sweat a lot but this breathable uh, uh, fabric on this uh, waist strap also it will give you a very good protection against your sweat and yeah let me talk quickly about this uh, waist strap also you have a couple of waist straps and they also include a couple of pockets here <laughs> this one and you have a mesh pocket here and this is a zipper one you can store in your candies or anything of that sort i <laughs> so yeah you can imagine what are the things you can store there let me talk about the rear compartment so yeah i have this meshed pocket here that's another compartment chotu sa small one and there you basically can store your laptop uh, i think a 16 sorry yeah 15 or 16 inch laptop can easily fit in here but there is a problem with this which we will discuss later but i have basically used it to store my gimbal right now uh, to check in here yeah there you go that's one compartment for your laptop and probably you can fit in your charger or this thing here uh, i am using to store the warranty card yeah uh, yeah this bag comes with a 5 years warranty that's another advantage so yeah that's about it there are no more hidden compartments which i am saying here so but still quite a solid uh, storage and you can store a lot of things in here couple of things which i should mention okay let's talk about the looks of this this particular backpack does not come in different color combination it only comes in uh, black and this orange accent i personally love it uh, obviously black is amazing it's kind of not a shiny black but it's more of a matte black color and you got this red accent sorry orange accent uh, zippers and you got your wildcraft logo this orange accent clippers here and the entire interior is fully orange uh, be it in the rear compartment or in the camera compartment as already shown you before it's completely orange in my opinion it looks amazing and obviously uh, looks a subjective you might like this color pattern or you might not like it but i personally love it another thing which i should mention these zippers are super sturdy and they feel very firm uh it gives me a ton of confidence to zip and unzip it multiple times no matter which zip you talk about they're amazing super sturdy as i said before uh and you got a 5 year warranty so if something like this breaks out you can easily go and get them replaced and i don't think they're going to break that easily uh i i just love the build quality yeah and they give you a couple of uh, strings here uh they basically designed to store your uh, tripod as per at least their website uh, but i don't really store them here i store it here because my tripod is a little bit larger in size and i don't think it really holds it that well uh so yeah that's about that uh, too much uh, space for storage tiny tiny compartments here and there everywhere there is no problem with respect to storage one more thing if you have a couple of uh, say shorts and a couple of t-shirts you can easily squeeze them in here uh, not the pure cotton thick wala t-shirts the the thin one which you basically try to wear or other wear in uh, your summers you can easily squeeze them here there is enough uh, space but again uh, there is a little bit of problem here uh, which i'll discuss in a minute basically when you have a laptop and a gimbal you can't really store much here you can either store a gimbal or you can store a laptop and a couple of uh, pair of dresses that's about the compartment let's move on now now let me talk about a couple of problems which i had with this particular backpack uh, number one if you want to carry your laptop and your gimbal you won't be able to do that because there there's just isn't enough space on the rear compartment uh, you can either carry your gimbal or your laptop 
Moving on to number two. Uh, I just wish that this clipper was not here. They would have tried to keep it a little bit lower. But since it is right here, I won't be able to unzip the top compartment with a single hand. Uh, the moment I reach here, uh, I basically have to use my other hand and move this one a little bit lower and then unzip it. And simultaneously, when I want to zip it back, I have to do the same thing. Moving on to number three. I just think the padding on the shoulder feels a little bit hard, uh, but I think eventually the more I use it, it's going to soften up. Now the main question, is it really worth investing in this bag? I must say that there is another bag from Wildcraft itself called as the Wildcraft Shutterbug. The non-pro version of this bag basically, which doesn't come with the bottom compartment and doesn't come with the uh, waist strap. And I believe the padding on the shoulder strap is also a little bit less and the rest of the bag is exactly same. The front compartment has the same capacity in both pro and non-pro versions. Uh, you can easily squeeze in a Sony 200-600mm to lens there with a camera body and uh, the Sigma 150-600 to and the Tamron 150-500 to will have no problem, they can easily fit in the front compartment. For a smaller setup, honestly the non-pro version makes a lot of sense uh, but for me particularly, I have plans to invest in a telephoto lens and in a drone also. That's why I bought the pro version. However, if you're looking for a bag just to give protection to your gear, be it in home or when you're traveling, and also probably carry a, a tablet or a laptop and a small mobile uh, gimbal, the non-pro version will be a very good investment. But if you already have a telephoto lens, a camera body and a couple of smaller lenses and a drone also, then the pro version will be a good investment for you because obviously it's got great padding, uh, a lot of compartments for storage uh, and also it is a little bit less pricey as compared to uh, say a low pro bag with the same compartment and same capacity uh, when I was buying I had an option to buy low pro uh, but I didn't choose low pro because uh, it's got five years warranty and also the wildcraft service center is a lot closer to me than probably say a low pro service center uh, I just have to travel say 30 kilometers to if something happens to the bag, I just need to travel 30 kilometers to get it fixed and probably for low pro, I will probably have to travel 400 kilometers. So it, it wasn't really a good uh, investment for me. So I went out for Wellcraft. I have no regrets. Great bag, good investment and probably it will be the same for you also. So that's it everybody. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye.